Good afternoon, everybody. Irish Guy JG with you. Jesse here. I am in the office. I'm in the conference room, and I'm spending some quiet time. I was spending some quiet time with myself because everybody's out of the office, and uh, what a great time to sit down and read God's Word while I can get a break. So, you guys, listen to this. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. I'm going to start in 6. For God, who said, Let light shine out of darkness, has shown in our hearts to give the light of knowledge of glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Now, this is just my little handy pocket Bible, so don't judge me too much, please. We, But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that the surpassing power belongs to God, not us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair. Amen. Persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. Verse 10, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. For we who live are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Since we have the same spirit of faith according to what has been written, I believed, and so I spoke. We also believe, and so we also speak. Going on in verse 14, knowing that he who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and bring us with you into his presence. For it is all your sake, so that the grace extends to more and more people and may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. Amen. So we do not lose heart, though our outer self is wasting away. Our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light momentarily affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. As we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. And that, my friends, is called having faith, trusting in the unseen. We can't always see what God's doing, but you know what? He's working in our lives, and there's an amazing thing happening. If you've accepted Jesus Christ into your life, you've found God. You've found an amazing relationship that helps you get through almost anything, anything that you face. Hope you guys have a really good day. I hope you guys enjoyed 2 Corinthians. Have a good Friday, and we'll see you this weekend. God bless you guys.